What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead here with Soundhead Entertainment once again, returning from an incredible trip down to Talladega. I had an awesome time. I finally got to see a rain-free weekend of racing down there, and it was amazing. Now that we're back, though, it's time to celebrate with a little virtual Talladega Encore installment with this brand new Chase Briscoe scheme we had waiting on us and the highly requested return of the Pinball and Moon Gravity Physics mods. May the Wreckfest gods shine down on us for this one because we're going to need them to survive this madness. And away we slowly pull once again. There we go. We'll just slap Bush out of the way, bop him down the track as they're wrecking all around us, in front of us, behind us. The usual suspects in the back half of the field not knowing what the hell to do on the start. And there goes Suarez. And there goes me, <laughs> damn it. All right, well, at least I don't have to worry about being the first car annihilated in the race like Briscoe was on Sunday. I think some guys behind me may have taken care of that already, but not the start I was looking for. That is for sure. And that, who's coming up behind us here? I gotta try not to get packed. Logano in the Snickers car is gonna go pack the 42. Hard charging, hunt him down almost again. He tried to get him, poor Suarez, always getting bullied out here. Easy now. I'm really glad the pinball physics do not apply to the wall. That could be not good. We got one flipping up here in front of Logano, and it's Logano with Brad in the car, and he gets blasted. And I'm blasting myself into the wall trying to look at it. Now we got a wreck and a half over here to try to swerve our way through it. Oh, we almost did it all the way. We don't. We get destroyed instead. Damn it. Oh my God, who the hell is that? And they're coming back. Denny Hamlin. Doing like one of those G-Force tests right now. Just hitting it in all directions. Oh, oh my God, another fence strike. He's gonna hit us. He does it, he barely misses us, but he gets gas. Oh my God, another one. Make a wish, honey. Well, looks like I do have a survivor behind me and with a push even, Eric Jones. Thank you, sir, greatly appreciated. Pinball mode in this game might be one of the only times that pushing actually works. And hold on to this. We're going to drive under Bubba Wallace. We're going to drive under a couple of guys and through the middle of a wreck. And watch as they ride the railroad tracks up here. Oh, my. This car is like perfectly assorted around us, flipping in every general direction and on every side. And we just casually drive through the middle of it. It's just a Sunday drive here in Wreckfest. This really isn't that out of the ordinary at this point. And they're still up there on the barrier, just now falling off of it, actually. Well, there you go. Come on, Eric. Give me a push. Let's get the hell away from this. I'd rather have Eric behind me if he's anything like Sunday. He was so loose. Every time someone pushed him, it looked like he was about to wreck. And now I can't get a push unless I'm blocking. And this one's not going to go well. And there it is. Oh, why didn't that just... I, I probably should have lifted. Oh, my... What was that? You just saw a neon yellow blur go by my screen at approximately 400 miles an hour. Oh my God. What just happened? What did they do to me? What the hell? That all happened so fast. Oh God, please no more, please. I haven't I had enough? Thank you, oh my God. Well, we can chalk this up as one of the most extreme eliminations of the day of the career of the YouTube channel history is Cole Trickle was the guy that went flying by riding the fence. You got to respect that. And then I totally innocently, by the way, pulled up on track, not realizing I'm about to set myself up for the ultimate pack of a lifetime. And wouldn't you know, upon further inspection, that was Brad Keselowski in the 22, wasn't it? How does my favorite driver continue to just destroy me? This like little, this little hidden rivalry starting to not be so hidden anymore. This replay is hiding my real damage. I don't know if they're trying to censor it because it's just too vulgar for human eyes, but they're really going generous on the amount of damage I had. I was killed. Now I really am in the dreaded position, though, of having to maybe push Eric Jones. I ain't trying to do all that. What the hell just fell off from underneath my car? Who built this piece of trash? I didn't even hit anything as we got him hitting the walls and the fences up here at each other. But mostly stay into the sides. All right, we're able to get through the middle of it really easily. Thanks to them riding the fences until Dale Jr. up here decides not to at the worst possible time. Jones had to tee up on him and there's Chick Hicks for the collateral. Ding the danger. Oh, there it goes. Someone's going to the moon. Oh my, we will be seeing you later. The Space Force grows one member stronger. Here at Talon. Oh, why? Kurt knows. Kurt, come on, dude. Why you gotta do me like that, man? We were, we might have had a chance at that. I'm gonna keep going, because he might, you never know, he could get blasted to the moon next for all we know. <laughs> if I don't, ah, oh, blast me to the moon. I'm ready. 
<laughs> so I'm ready for this barrel check. Look at this. Can barely even get through the barrel check. I did not pass the barrel check. Oh, I, th this is not passing the vibe check right now. We could be Chick Hicks at least. He was just laying down on the inside, minding his own business when he got boomed earlier. We could be doing a little worse, I guess. Back into the podium spot, too. We got third. Oh, Jesus, why? What the hell is the point? They're tossing it out the window. They are wrecking each other. Tyler Reddick has stepped on it. Where's Eric Jones? I don't even see him. I'm what? Get off the wall. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. What is this? Wow. Wow. This is going to be the lamest pass for all time. Look at this. I'm going to pass Eric Jones like that. Frame that. Give it its own exhibit in the Hall of Fame. Downtown Charlotte. Now. Immediately. Eric Jones, you should be ashamed of yourself, dude. For just being downright dumb and throwing it away. Oh, we got someone coming still. I was throwing anybody left. We gotta get the hell going. I gotta throw myself. No! No, I thought no one was left. I can't believe some of the things I managed to do in this damn game sometimes. And bashing Bush off the start is not one of them, actually. That's usually pretty common as they're flying by. And it's already in Bushers right back in the roadblock again. Thank you so much. I guess we even longer to appreciate the 48 cars flying out of the sky and again just getting combos of busher beatings right now. This is unbelievable. I, oh my god, I can't even turn around to just go wreck the whole field without hitting them again and not even meaning to. Well, now I really want to wreck the field. This Chase Elliott's trying to get through here in reverse. I'm going to try something like that too, but pinball is probably going to make this pretty nasty and right on schedule. Here they come and there we go. Oh my god. Damn, holy sh! We just touched like 325 miles an hour. And we're gonna pass it along to Kyle Larson in the two. <laughs> it's like one of those track races where you just hand it off to the next guy. Here, you take it. Oh, here comes some more flying at us. And down here, you know what? I'd like to thank my sponsors, my team, all my guys back at the shop, Kurt Bush's face. You know, with all, all, without all of them working together and coming together, we could not have gotten the land speed world record that we just got. And then we went ahead and passed it right on to Larson. Busher, what are you actually trying to do here, man? If you're trying to spin out, you're doing a great job. I just don't think that's really achieving much. So I once again senselessly slam Daniel Suarez. Oh, someone got slammed all the way into the infield. Someone's going to Talladega Boulevard before the race is even over. That's a real shame. Sorry, Suarez. I feel like I slightly contributed to that problem you made me experience. It wasn't my fault, I swear. You were already losing it. What more can I do? Oh, what more am I going to have to do up here? Brad, giving me some trials and things to think about. We got the 88 flipping end over end down the damn track. William Byron up here really making Richard Petty proud there. But oh, who's that priest in the Hamlin mobile? Just delivered a death, and we got Kyle Busch over here that I thought I could go on the outside of. Turns out the answer is no, I surely cannot. I cannot do much of anything here. That's, oh, yeah. Yep. Well, that was expected. I mean, you just knew that was coming. I'm going to hit everybody standing outside of Big Bill's. I did. I just cleaned up. I just cleaned out the like NASCAR on Fox race day setup right there with all the people standing. Oh, and a little bit of karma right there for the six. Oh, hold on. We're not done yet. There it is. I just knew that was going to happen. We needed one more fed strike over here and I'll just hang that thing on the safer barrier. I don't even know. I think what happened here truly is that Hamlin's car coming flying backwards through the corner took my eyes so far off the ball for long enough that that Larson car just did not seem like an obstacle. I can hear him coming. There we go. And here comes the six to give us the shot. Really, it was the fence that gave us the launch. We got that exit velocity here off the bounce from the six, which he gets his own in the end. And then we come and wipe out Big Bill's and I would cut the camera too. Careful, Chris. Keep it down there, dude. He did. He actually did. That's kind of new. What's not new is Suarez just absolutely eating it on the start of one of these things. That's quite familiar. You guys proud of yourselves? You didn't even make it to turn one, you memed on yourselves. That, that's a little sad. I see some merging up there, and I see some wrecking up there, too. We got some problems on the back straightaway. Brad Keselowski getting the spin cycle over here. I think he got taken out by his old car, and it's got Briscoe in it. Oh, Briscoe, don't look at me, please. I am once again asking for the danger zone to mix things up, and it isn't ever. I saw Chick Hicks flying across the screen, and actually, no, I didn't. I saw Cole Trickle, but Chick Hicks was flying, too. 
It's more of a question of who wasn't flying at all. We really got it going down in turn one, two. There we go up in the fence. Don't you dare come down. Don't ever. Why can't we just hold the brakes in this game? Well, actually, that's why right there, because I just drove out of that and saved it and almost got everything I ever loved packed. Like Almirola, look at him. These are starting to be grim scenes here on the back stretch. Bubba, please. Oh, my God. Have I not had enough? Now, wait a damn minute. We're in second place, and this is the leader. Tyler Reddick. Oh, poor Tyler Reddick. He's going to come close and lose one again. Well, this is usually where I'd say, well, we're about good to the end now, but that danger zone could clap my ass at any moment. I am not. This ain't over till it's over. Give me over that. Oh, see? They're throwing invisible people on the line just to try me, but it will not be enough. I cannot be denied. And with the dub secured, we will let the replays roll as they begin wrecking down there in the danger zone on the end of the screen. They'll slowly start wrecking their way over here. I mean, they wreck all the way around the racetrack, so they'll get here eventually. And the Kurt Busch car piloted by Eric Almirola. Man, I see what happened to him now. He got a hell of a hit. One heck of a rare T-bone. And there goes the 48. That's going to do it. He is out of this world. That's going to be how we send off the old Legacy 48 right there. Bye-bye. And then we'll come back around to begin that final lap of the danger zone, proving to be the deciding factor once again for the second Talladega video in a row. And just enough carnage is going to be laid out up here in front of us that we'll be able to sneak by most of it unless Larson comes down the track and cleans us up. But that was not enough to stop us, was it? And we will not stop coming to Talladega, as a matter of fact. I've got some more ideas. I have a pretty fun video idea. I think we're going to be hitting up real soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Get down in the comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see here in the near future. We'll try to jump on it. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.